finished TV. Hey guys, it's Arch TV here. Today I'm going to do another video, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make Vietnamese coffee. So, I'm going to be showing you guys this book, which has the instructions. This is the book for Vietnamese milk coffee today that we're going to be making here. This is the book. So today we're going to be making Vietnamese milk coffee, and so we're going to be using this, which is called Fin. And it's, it's um, without this, um, you cannot make Vietnamese coffee. And also condensed milk for, and this coffee. So, I need to sneeze. Okay, so, hot coffee drips through slowly through the fin into the waiting condensed milk to create cafe suan nong, maybe. I don't know how to say it. But first, I think we should, I should show you guys what's inside of the fin. So here is the lid from, oh, by the way, this is from Highland Coffee. And this is like dripping thing. By the way, this cup is just, it's not from Highland Coffee. It's just a random cup. And this inside here, there's this like screw thing. I think it's like a strainer. I could, I could screw it out here. I'm going to put it back in. And here is the condensed milk, which is in one pack. So in, in Vietnam, uh, condensed milk is always, not always, actually, always used in um, Vietnamese milk, to co milk coffee. So they make it in these packets because this is for one coffee. So as you can see here, they're in little packet thingies. So you could just take them out and make Vietnamese coffee. So first, I'm going to put the condensed milk inside of the cup. This is Vietnamese condensed milk, so it's a bit different to other condensed milk. You can see that it's supposed to split here. I'm gonna show you guys more closely. You can see that the coffee and the condensed milk will be separated. So we put all of this inside. Oh, I spilled some, but it's all fine. I made it so messy. Oh, I could draw. Okay, I think that's enough. Okay, now we're gonna... Oh, thank you. Okay, I'm gonna put this on top. And I'm gonna put this on top. And then we're gonna be making the coffee now. Okay guys, so we're gonna be using Robusta coffee, not Arabica coffee. That's for Vietnamese people, they use um, Arabic, uh, Ro Robusta, not Arabica. So this is called Trung Nguyen, I think. And so we're gonna, we're gonna use this coffee to, to do this thingy. So first, let's open this and smell it. Smells good. Smells like coffee. And I'm gonna transfer this in here. It smells a bit like chocolate. I'll I'll show you guys what it kind of looks like. Well, um, you'll guys see when I put it in here. built a bit but it's all fine because I'll put it down with the scissors okay now you guys know what it looks like so now I'm gonna use a spoon just put it down a bit here we go now this is what the coffee looks like And so now I'm going to be in one spoonful. Whoa! Can you do that? I'm spilling a lot. And then now we put one spoonful inside here. 
And then after that, I think that's enough. And then now with the, I think we need hot water. So yes, time for the hot water. Be careful in this. Yep. Okay guys, so now we're gonna put the hot water. Be careful with it. <gasps> It's dripping so fast. Okay, be careful in this part because you might burn your finger. And you don't want to burn your finger. So, you can, it's so, it's dripping so fast. Oh, now I can see the layer. Right here. Here. So this is a very delicate process. And it's the most important process of this because um, the dripping part um, puts the coffee inside. So, uh, Vietnamese people don't rush, they just, you know, talk with friends, enjoy a conversation while, you know, the coffee is dripping. So they'll just talk with friends, just wait for the dripping to finish. So yeah, I'll be, I'll be giving some footage of the coffee dripping. Okay guys, so now I'm going to check. Oh. Not yet. Not yet? Mm. Oh, okay. Now let's uh, enjoy again watching the coffee. Okay guys, so now I'm going to be doing the ice here. So here. Oh, almost, almost all of the water is gone. If you guys want to see. Oh, that's a lot of coffee. Here you guys can see. You could also take this off. There's most of the coffee but inside here is the coffee itself oh that's a lot of coffee just came out okay now i'm gonna put in the ice part also bamboo straws are the best no. i think i should put all the ice okay now i think I, i'll put this in and then mix it. Mix it now? Okay. Oh, the bottom is thick and the top is, look, super smooth, thick. 
Mix, 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 mix. This kind of looks good. Because condensed milk is like sweet. And like, I like sweet coffee. So it's, it's turning into a sort of like orange color. But yeah. I'm excited because the um, coffee actually smells like chocolate. So like, I'm curious to see if this tastes like chocolate. Right now it's a bit orange. And I think that's enough mixing. It looks like coffee. Oh, it smells like coffee. Oh, this is going to be bitter. But, you know. Ooh, coffee. So, basically, in the summertime, of course, they put ice. But um, in the winter, they just drink it without any ice. But look at this. The coffee. It looks delicious. Okay, I mean, I guess we should try it. Three, two, one. It's not bad. It's actually not bad at all. It's sweet. It's delicious. And why can't kids drink this? Tastes like a kid's coffee drink. Now this is really good. I didn't know Vietnamese coffee was this good. But yeah. I suggest trying to make this, um, if you want to, um, make this, here are some of the instructions, here, uh, you can see, here are some of the instructions, and in case you want to make egg, egg coffee, you could just put an egg, I think, but yeah, this is the video of the Vietnamese coffee, so as always, please like and subscribe, press that bell button, and see you guys next time. Cheers!